Welcome to your source for research innovation news, insights, and commentary. Research Business Daily Report, sponsored today and this week by Precision Opinion. For phone, focus, and online, the most trusted name in market research. Last Wednesday, Google Mobile Marketing Manager Adam Grunewald posted Introducing the Google Data Board, a new way to explore research. On Marketing Pilgrim, I discovered John Parks as a person who is simplifying exactly what this Google Data Board means to all of us. First, he says it's a way to deal with being awash in data. And second, a way to simplify our understanding of what research data and reports from Google Google trying to tell us. Park explained, quote, they do this by breaking the available Google data into bite-sized chunks and turn it into graphics. Once you get a look at the graphics, the fun begins. As you work through the data board on particular topics, you can pull together several of those graphics into a larger infographic, and you can share that via social media or distribute it via email. To start, this Google Data Board is home to four key research studies. Three of them are the multi-screen world, mobile in-store shopper research, and mobile search moments. More will be added as time moves on. Check it out at Marketing Pilgrim or at google.com forward slash think forward slash tools forward slash data board dot html. Next, it's been just under a year and a half since Google Consumer Surveys launched and it has hit the research industry in a big way. In fact, it remains one of the most discussed industry topics. Part of the reason for this is the power of the Google name and the organization, but so is the ingenuity, the discipline, and the commitment of the Google Consumer Surveys Group. GCS's founder, Paul McDonald, no stranger to RBDR, joins us for a progress update. Hey, we continue to push out new things almost every week uh, for Google Consumer Surveys. Come on, really? is, it that, is it that much new to try? There, there really is. I mean, it's really amazing. And in fact, over the last two or three months, we've really been focusing on a couple specific use cases that are really interesting to Google as a company. Um, Google has a $50 billion ad business, and most of those ads can be measured uh, through sort of metrics that, that most advertisers are used to, people clicking on your ad, uh, going to your site and buying uh, the goods that you're, you're advertising. However, a large segment of those ads are brand advertising. So just like a television commercial, you're not meant to click on uh, and one of these brand ads and go purchase something. They just want to uh, increase brand awareness for their company. However, that's almost impossible to measure using the regular metrics that we have today. And so what we've started to do is measure each of these brand advertisements through surveys. So we find a person who has been exposed to an ad uh, and we create a group of people that maybe would have been exposed to the ad, but they, we've held back the ad from them, from them seeing it. And then we survey both groups of users and we compare uh, the, what we call the brand lift for each of uh, the metrics we care about. So whether that's ad recall or brand awareness or brand favorability uh, or even purchase intent, you, we can see uh, significant changes between the people who have been exposed to some of these brand ads and those who haven't. And so this is really creating a measurement tool for a business that is growing within Google and will be as big as our, our sort of direct performance ads that we run on Google.com. To know whether, the, whether or not the ad has an effect or the effect that the advertiser wanted, you actually have to ask people because... Uh, uh, again, with, with most ads on Google, we're trying to get people to buy something on a website. Here, we just want to know the awareness of, of a brand. And so the only way to get at that is to ask people through surveys. And that's, that's really our, has been our focus for the last couple months because we think it can drive significant revenue to Google by having this really integrated measurement solution where it doesn't exist anywhere else. What do you call it? Uh, right now, we're calling it Brand Lift. So uh, it's, it's available right now for YouTube ads. So the ads that show uh, before a video in YouTube, which are very similar to television commercials. 
We'll have more from Paul tomorrow. And as the week evolves, don't miss his insights. That's your Research Business Daily Report, sponsored by Precision Opinion. For phone, focus, and online, the most trusted name in market research. There's a link to the Precision Opinion website in the content box beneath this video. You should check it out. Why? Because Precision Opinion's business continues to expand even as the recession lingers through parts of the United States. Precision Opinion's business has just been booming. Find out why. Have a great research day and be back with us here tomorrow.